jump on board the good ship Tranquility and set sail for paradise. Take care though, in a land where the day blends into night, it's easy to lose track of time and you still need to find that special little island to call home. Tranquility is a cooperative card game for 1-5 to five players and is recommended for ages 8 to 100. The players must fill the sea with islands and guide the ship home before any player runs out of actions. In the world of tranquility though, the only way to play is in silence. But travellers be warned, the sea can be treacherous. You may be attacked by sea monsters, become shipwrecked on jagged rocks, or need to navigate through terrible storms with nothing more than a compass and your will to survive. If you win, all the players will live out their days in an island paradise. Run out of actions before the game is complete though, and your ship will be lost forever. Hello everybody, it is Az here with Lucky Duck Games. I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are. I probably sound uh, quite distant, and I'm going to explain why in a second, but if you're watching, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube or Twitch, please let me know if you can hear me. I might be a bit echoer than usual. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this game is just a joy to play. You're such a sweetheart, Chris. It's lovely to have you here. And hello, Andrew. It's nice to see you as well. Um, some of our regulars in. It's lovely to have you guys here. Uh, yeah, tonight we're playing Tranquility, which I have all set up nicely on the table. And I can't even... Can't even take credit for this, by the way, and I'm going to talk about that in a, in a second. Hello, Dana. It's lovely to see you. Ah, oh, man, how is it, Dana? I haven't seen you in a while. A Josek. Hello, nice to see you as well. So the reason I'm all set up nicely here and ready to go is because I have a special guest. And the reason I might be a little bit more echoey is because my microphone is not here where it normally is. It's actually down here. Down down here. Uh, and the reason it's down there is because I have. <gasps> da, da, da. Ah, oh, wow, look at this. <laughs> Hello. Bree is joining me all the way from Las. <laughs> <laughs> from Las right beside me. Uh, hello, Bree. This is weird, right? Because very weird. <laughs> oh, hold on. I need to move us to the other side. Let's do. Let's move. There we go. How you doing, Bree? Yeah, I'm so good. <laughs> <laughs> Bree, special guest hype. Oh, Charles, that's so sweet. <laughs> Bree says, Andy. She's Hi, for anyone. Hi, and hello, Carolina as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Bree says Devin. Oh, hey, Devin. I've seen Devin posting on some of our stuff. Um, yes, the lighting is awful. I've got my set and I've, I've asked Bree to jump in a little corner here because she's going to play. Um, still sounds fine on my end. Ah, uh, thank you, Josic. Hello, Bree, says Josic. Hello, Josic. So you're you're here. Yep. I'm there. Hello, folks. <laughs> the two wonderful people I know. Oh, dude, I haven't seen you in so long, man. Share me some painted minis. Would you just send me some pictures of your work? If you haven't checked out Shattered Skull Studio, folks, do yourself a treat and check out his work. It's incredible. Um, so Brie is here in Manchester in the UK. Um, and we thought we would take a bit of an opportunity to play some games together because we've done Kingdom Rush. We did nine scenarios of Kingdom Rush uh, remotely. And now we're going to do co-op Tranquility together. Now, for anyone that doesn't know, uh, Tranquility is actually a silent game. <laughs> it's a game you play in quiet. So what we're going to do is we're going to play it twice. We're going to play it once where we're going to teach you the rules. We're going to talk about what we're thinking. We're going to say all the things that kind of like give you an idea of how to play. And then the second time we play, I'm going to try really hard <laughs> not to give away too much, not to talk, not to say too much, and really just enjoy the game. If you haven't heard of Tranquility before, let me bring it back in for a second. So this is this gorgeous little box. It's done, uh, the artwork's done by Tristan Rawson, which is just adorable. And it's designed by James Emerson. And it comes in this gorgeous, 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 gorgeous little simple, beautiful box. And it's really all about working together to set seal on the good ship Tranquility and have yourself a nice little journey that doesn't result in you getting eaten by a big tentacle monster. Now, we're not playing with the... Uh, What's it called? The Stormy Seas expansion? Yeah, we're just playing with the base game just because we're just learning. We played one quick, quick little game off camera and it went okay. It went all right. This is great, by the way. This is like, because I can like, I can, <laughs> <laughs> although it's, it doesn't quite match. Yeah. 
<laughs> Hello, lovelies. Oh, oh Susie, Susie, you're so sweet. Um, so we're gonna just play the basic game, but the game, if if you if you buy it, it's only a fifteen dollar little box. This this little thing, and it does come with a little expansion in it. So you have a solo mode. You have different variants of play. I think there's six variants of play, and then you have the Stormy Seas expansion on top of that as well, all inside this little guy. So there's plenty of gameplay, but we're gonna keep it simple for the first one. Um, now Brie, you've started setting up a little bit, so let me bring this up and we'll make it big. Nope. Well, yeah, but <laughs> okay. So what have you done so far in terms of setup? Uh, okay, so we have the uh, the edges of the board, yep. which are just the uh, the ship cards. And Lord help us if we end up moving these, because we tried right. to get them really, yes. <laughs> really square. <laughs> yeah. So this is just defining the, yep. uh, the shape of the board. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we've shuffled all of the numbered cards. Yeah. And these also have our finished cards yep. shuffled into them and then split it into two decks because there are two of us. So I'm going to do a little spoiler. So just to show you all at home some of the artwork on these cards, I'm going to jump ahead a little bit. On the cards, there are numbers from 1 to 80. I'm going to show you guys up a little closer. And each one is double-sided with day and night, which I just, oh, I just adore. Let's do this. There we go. So you can see here. So what we've got on these cards is one to 80, and you've just essentially shuffled them completely, put five finished cards in, and then dealt them between us. Yep. Now, the goal of the game is to lay cards out on the path. And there's 36 spaces, and we can actually play into any of them. And to get from the starting point across each one of the rows all the way up until we get to the end. We also have to place a starting point down here, of which there is one in each of our decks in a moment, and then a finished card in the top right corner right up here. Hopefully you can see that just, just up here. There are five of those split between us. They could be anywhere. Um, so the trick with the finish, though, is you cannot place it until all the other cards have been placed first. So it's like there are five of them, and you probably don't want to hold them for too long, but you need them when you need them, so you don't want to discard them all. The trick is, though, we're never going to see each other's cards until we play them. We're never going to see the cards we're discarding, and we're never going to be able to communicate with each other about what we're doing. But in this first game, we'll cheat a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Um, so what do we need to do to get going completely? Uh, so we first need to draw our starting hand of five. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna... And then shuffle, each of us shuffle a start card into okay. our remaining deck. Magic. So I'll do that. So what you're really doing is having a silent, and so it's a game for one to five players. I need to be careful, I need to be mindful the mic is here. It's a game for one to five players, and what you're really doing is trying to create an ascending order of your cards. But it doesn't have to be one to 80, because there are only 36 spots to fill. So you're going to have gaps in between, them, and that's fine. You're just trying to make sure you never get stuck, because what you never want to do is create a position on the board where you can no longer play a card into. So if I play 15, repays, I don't know, 18, and then we accidentally just happened to have discarded the cards in between, and we couldn't fill the space, we would lose because we can't make a valid play. Um, so I'll grab these. Um, and I'll show you folks at home my starting hand. I'm going to put it in a nice order for you and orientate it all nicely. So you'll see right now that I've not been lucky and got a perfect five cards in perfect order because that would just be far too easy. <laughs> so here are my five starting cards. Now on your turn, there's basically only two actions you can do. You can either play a card into the grid or you can discard two cards and then draw back up to five if you've got nothing you really want to play. You can play anywhere onto the grid, however, which means even though I have cards as you know middle of the pack, and remember it's between one and 80 is the cards, even though I have cards like this, I might have to play them completely blindly, kind of just trying to plot a course to roughly where I think we're gonna end up moving to. Remembering there's 36 spaces across the rows you're trying to fill. First player is, I don't know how it's decided actually. Do you want to check? It's random. Essentially random. Essentially random was the last person to build an island. <laughs> like, we'll just say it's random. Would you like to go first? Sure. Okay. So usually we wouldn't talk at all, but you guys know me. I have to talk mm -hmm. a little bit. And we're going to teach you the game a little bit now. And then the second game is for realsies. It's for all the... If you do have a start card in mm -hmm. your hand and one hasn't been played yet, yep. you have to play it. Okay. But we, we definitely won't in our starting hands because we shuffle them after drawing. But then anytime one of us draws it, mandatory. Cool. So that's a six. 
And orientation doesn't matter whether you do it day or night set up. It's just for everyone around the table to be able to see really clearly what's being played. Um, so six here. So that means that now these two spaces can only have a one, two, three, four, or five played into it. That's kind of locked up that section. Um, just for the sake of teaching the game, I'm going to do something that might be a little bit risque. You'll notice that Bree played a card into the open, and that means she plays it absolutely fine. There's nothing to worry about. The second thing that can happen when you play a card is if you play a card beside another one. And when we say beside, we mean either above or below. We don't mean orthogonally, up, down, left, right, or diagonally. We simply mean before or after. So when I play this card, I'm going to play a five. This is not the most ideal play. Tristan! <laughs> We're just giving you so much praise, man. In fact, Tristan, you're not, you're in Manchester, right? I could, I could get you on the phone. We could have you on here for a game in no time. <laughs> it's lovely to see you. Um, so Tristan, like, we're just going to give you so much props for the artwork. So, 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 so much props. It's <laughs> so for the sake of demonstration, I've played a five beside the six. Now, this could have been a one, two, three, four, five. It would have been absolutely fine. But when you play a card beside another, you have to then discard cards from your hand equal to the difference. So in this case, it's five, six, so it's just one. So I've got to grab a card from my hand, discard it. I've got a little box here. Do you want to, did you discard? No, you didn't discard. And then I'm going to draw up to five at the end of my turn. So when you play a card into a space with no other cards before or after it, it's free to do so. But if you play a card that's beside another one, you have to discard cards equal to the difference. Now, this also means you can never make a gap bigger than four because once you play one, you've only got four cards left in your hand to discard. So you can't go any higher than that. And if you're discarding four cards, you're probably in a tough spot. You really don't want to be discarding that many cards. Yep, Manchester, stick the kettle on. Don't you even tease, sir. I will put the kettle on. Today, we were just teaching Brie all about what a kettle was. <laughs> Those poor Americans, they need education on tea. <laughs> and hello, Tion. Nice to have you here. Thank you for stopping by. So I've played my card. I had to discard one because it was uh, beside another card. And there was a difference of one. So it's over to you, Brie. And we are, for late people coming, Brujaki, little kisses, Tomac. For anyone paying attention, this is a silent game, but we're playing talking for the first one, next one for realsies. Mm -hmm. And... In case you're interested, it's going to be in stores next week. Oh, it's going to be in stores next week. US, uh, Canada, and Europe, and probably anywhere where good games are sold. Okay, so a 30. Yep. I like what you did there. I like what you did. And since I did, I played a card next to no, nothing. Yep. So it, and it looks here and then back to the beginning, the end of the previous row. So we were checking this spot and this spot. Yep. So I only draw one. I'm going to play a 75 up to here, which is one spot, the penultimate spot, basically, the pot spot just before the end. So I'm assuming that we need to play a 76, 77, 78, 79, or 80 into this spot. Potentially, there might be a little bit better and give us two slots to, to fill with four or five cards. But I'm going to go here just as a like precaution, and I'll just draw back up to five. Mm -mm. The art is lovely, needs some close-ups. Oh, I mean, we can we can get on board with that. You can take your turn while I while I feed Andy some close-ups. I love it. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Let's 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 do it for realsies. Look at that. And we can do it this way too. So That's the same one as you didn't do a very good job there. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's just a real, it's just a pleasure to look at. Yeah, really helps with playability, especially when you've got people sitting in different positions, obviously, around the table. Because it's a five player game. You can technically have people all around the table. You want to be able to, to view it from multiple angles, so it, it works super well. Oh, these discards. these are discards. Are you discarding two for your turn? Or you played or you played one? 32 ah. next to 30. 32 next to 30. Interesting. I've which which way up do you play with the cards? Do you play them up nighttime side up or daytime side up? I put them daytime facing like this. No, no, as in in your hand. Oh. Yeah, daytime up. I'm daytime up, right? I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why it is, but I just I just put daytime right up. Uh, sold, says Tina. 
<laughs> for fifteen dollars, you can't go wrong. And it, it's like fairs meets oh goddess, lovely call out, man. That's a great call out. Um, yeah, that that last one I should particularly the island is really fairs like actually. Um, okay, putting my thinky hat on for a second. I'm gonna play. There's something we haven't shown yet, which is what happens when you play a card between two others, but it's going to happen sooner rather than later. Um, so I'm going to play a 71 to here. So when you play a card in between two others, you still have to discard cards and you discard it, the number of cards equal to the lower difference between the one before and the one after. So if I played a 15, I've had a 15 and 20, and I played a 19 between them, I would take just the one gap between the 19 and 20 instead of the 15 to 19. As long as we're always ascending, and we don't get in such a situation that we cannot play any cards, because we only have five in our hand at any given moment. So pretty. That's a wild 37. Now, if we were playing for silence, so if we were playing like completely properly, which we will be next game, I would be thinking, right, Bree has just played a 37 when there's a 32 here and there's two spaces in between. I've got to assume that Bree has some, if not both of those cars, because if not, that's a big gap for two spaces and I'm nervous. Poker face. That's the Vegas face right there. Just nothing. I've got nothing. <laughs> We're working together. I still got nothing. Okay, never mind. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm going to do this. I'm going to play a 73 in between the 71 and 75. So it's actually two either direction. Which is not amazing. So I'm going to discard two. It's it it is what it is. I'm just getting things going. Draw back up to three. Oh, uh, does the direction of art make a difference to gameplay? No. Oh. Not in this. No, that's actually a really good point. There is. Yeah, an alternate, an alternate there are game many games. alternate game modes. You have the high arch, you have the pyramid, you have day and night, you have competitive, and you have an option to remove islands, all of which change the way it plays. Then you've also got the Stormy Seas expansion, which introduces Jagged Rocks, Sea Monsters, the Storm and Compass. Right now, we haven't played with any of those. <laughs> We're just enjoying the base game. So do you know which one it is? One of Tristan is still here. Is it day and night? So, day and night, a new mechanism is introduced in which players must orientate their hands the same way. For example, at the beginning of the game, everyone must have the sun at the top. Cards must be placed into the grid matching this orientation. To win the game, half of the grid must be placed sun side up, while the other half must be moon side up. Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah. So, not in the base game, but yes, once you get a few games in, you're feeling a bit confident. Glorious. Oh, discarding. 70 here. Nice. Mm. Very nice. I'm going to play a 27 to here. Mm, 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 mm. Crunchy goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think Lucky Duck is kind of known for that as well. We're fans of games that are like easy to get into and just start playing really quickly, but then allow you to have that deeper, uh, more strategic play, if you like. Like Chronicles of Crime is a good example of that. Small Islands is a good example of that. Kingdom Rush is a good example of that. Oh, Stu. Hi, Stu. Hi, Stu. Yeah, this is this is going to kill me playing an entire game of this in silence. It's I I'm might <laughs> I might die. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I might not make it through, folks. 
that'll be the time when everyone joins the stream and starts saying lovely things to me. Mm -mm. One thing I love in the rulebook, actually, there's a beautiful line that talks about the that talks about the silent play, and I adored this when I read it. It says, uh, "Strictly speaking, tranquility should be played in silence." Ultimately, however, players may create their own rules of communication or may simply choose to take the opportunity to discuss other aspects of life. I was like, oh, how sweet. How wonderful. We were talking about that beautiful line on the diagram. Oh, the line of the diagram. <laughs> uh, do you want me to ring and just sing down the phone at you? I mean, yes, do. That would be that would be swell. You can talk about other things, like, for example, giving lots of spoilers about new games coming out soon. We we couldn't possibly do that. I, 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 that does sound fun, though. <laughs> it does. Okay, where did you go? Sorry, I'm not. Right? Yeah, I, I believe in you. <laughs> I'm gonna play a four down here. So that essentially means that we know cards one, two, and three are now safe to discard. We've filled the bottom corner with a four. Um, I need to discard one because the next one we said it was a five. And two. Mm. Okay. Oh, what? You get oh, you're look. Oh, no. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> How good of you. Okay. Uh, you discard oh, two okay. if you go there. Yeah. Yeah, okay, bold. Mm-hmm. I'll play at 66, 60 or 65. Gotta keep track of what I'm discarding. Yeah, this is pretty. This is the kind of game for Christmas. Stick it in a stocking. People are like, that's lovely. And then after dinner, you can get like 20 minutes of peace and quiet. <laughs> nobody, nobody talking. Everyone just being calm quiet after the manicness of Christmas Day. Delighted. Cool. I think that the quietness of this game might be followed by some no. outbursts. No. Of, uh... Tranquility. The, the new monopoly, right? Like, the, <laughs> <laughs> like this is this is how you keep everybody happy at Christmas. I realized that statement I made earlier about you placing this here and this big gap here, and I realized that what I had hoped I said would happen has not really come to fruition. No, it and really hasn't. That, yeah. <laughs> I kind of hoped that I might draw cards that made it so that I didn't have to make that so obvious. So, so, but... <laughs> so, so chat, I'm going, to, I'm going to look you right in the eye and say, here is 27. I'm going to play 25, and I'm going to play it here. With a gap in the middle. I'm going to make a play that needs no explanation or. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay. So we have 76 in the final spot here, just before the finish will go, which means 77 through to 80 are now essentially not needed. Uh, can we just get rid of Monopoly instead of getting a new one? Stu, I salute you, sir, for your brave endeavor. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play 26 between the 25 and 27, thus discarding one card. You. you believed in me, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> yes, Susie, what do you say? I do have a great poker face. What are you talking about? <laughs> I think we need a new version of Monopoly. There's hardly any at the moment, and it's such a quality game. 
Okay. Yes, dear. I hope you're ready for game two. I'm going to call you and just get you to sing down the microphone to offer our background music. I hope you're ready. What? You had the 26 the whole time? <laughs> I know Susie, right? No one, no one saw that coming after that effortly devious 25 play. <laughs> Do you need to be careful though, right? Because we've got one, two, three, four, five spaces here, and we have to get from six to 25, um, which is actually ooh, a little tricky considering you can never have a gap bigger than four. Ah, uh, Steve in the house. Right between two. Yes. Which is amazing. Um, oh, sorry, Stu got in the way. Steve says, when you discard for playing into a gap, uh, are you short that many or draw back to five? Yeah, you discard that many and then you always draw up to five. So you always have five in your hand, but there, the discarded ones are gone permanently. And if your deck runs out and you run out of cards, you will lose. It's also crazy that neither of us has drawn a start card yet. It is crazy that neither of us have drawn a start card yet. <laughs> Crazy indeed, <laughs> because once a start card is drawn, you must play it on your next yeah. turn, and then stuff happens, and you're going to see stuff soon. Mm -hmm. Funny that. Uh, Chronicles of Crime Monopoly Battle Cry. Now you're speaking my language. That sounds fun. Oh, and Stu is warming up the Spice Girls for us for whenever we want him to come and sing. That's so sweet. And my laptop is lagging a lot. 23? Mm -hmm. Lovely. Okay, so I happened to draw a start card last turn. I'm shocked. <laughs> so I have to play the start card, which is one of the things we have to do to finish the game. We need a start card, we need a complete board, and then we need a finish card. As a reminder, we each had one start card shuffled in, and there are five finish cards shuffled into it somewhere between our decks. When you draw a start player card, there's a very specific rule for, for two players. We have to draw two more each. And now we need to discard eight cards between us. Ooh. It can be five and three. It could be six and two. It could and, be four and four. And this is the one exception to the talking rule. Yeah. We are allowed to have some conversation. About how many okay. we'll discard but not about the cards we have or where we're thinking about playing them, just how many we might discard. Uh, oh, Susie's saying so many wonderful people on here as usual. Put my hand dirty. <laughs> uh, okay, so have a look at the board. I really ideally would keep at least one of these. Uh, um. I'm definitely fine with two for sure. Same. Oh. I would really like to keep these. Oh, I'm struggling. Really struggling here. I could definitely do three, right? Three is, is, okay. is fine. I've got three that I can definitely do. When you get to eight. Um, oh man. I can. I can go to four, but it's really nasty. Like I can go to four and it's not a disaster. Okay, let's let's do four piece, yeah. Oh that's I did not enjoy that. No, me neither. Did not enjoy that. <laughs> Okay. No, oh, where were you a minute ago? So that was my start card. So it's my turn. Hello, Paul. Uh, play this game. Such a good game. Makes you smile and swear about the same amount. Oh, is that just me? Play three player game. We did not win. One card, the wrong base. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. DDA said the only annoying thing with all Lucky Duck games is that they're all a real piece of art. And like a collector, I want them all. Oh, that's well, I don't know if Tristan is still in the chat or not, but the, the artist of uh, Tranquility, Tristan, was here, and you are not wrong. I do think 
I do think this is currently my favorite. I think there's just something about it that really, really shines. Uh, and it's beautiful. So over to you, my dear. What's the plan? We're getting, we're, we're getting, we're like halfway, right? We're a little over halfway. Okay, so nothing before, nothing after. Yep. I'm going to just trust you on that one. <laughs> uh, you good for me to go? Mm -hmm. So I'll play a 36 beside the 37. Discard one for that one difference. Mm. Yeah, I must admit, I have a there's a blank wall behind Bree, there's a blank wall behind me here that I would love. I really need to get some proper artwork for. Um, there's a few of our games, especially Chronicles of Crime 2400, which is coming out next month. It's actually coming in like two weeks because um, it's the end of October already. And some of that cyberspace art is just chef kiss. Oh. So gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Uh huh. So I'm going to play 69 up here, which is one away from 70, and it's three away from 66, so we take the lower of the two. Oh. And I'm doing essentially the same thing, 54 here, which is one away from 53, yep. it's four away from 58, and we have to discard one. Love it. Do it. Uh, oh, Susie knows me so well. Oh, the 20, Cyberpunk, the uh, Chronicles of Crime 2400 stuff would go very well with my Netrunner stuff. You are not wrong, Susie. You are not wrong. <laughs> there is a theme occurring. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> Have I messed us up? Can we get from 12 to 23 in two cars? Okay. No, right? We can't? Can we? Yes, we can. If we... Oh, can we? We can. We can. We can. Ignore me. Ignore me. It's fine. Gap rule. Yeah, gap rule, right? Ooh, sweaty. Nine to 30? Yeah. Getting a little bit. Uh, thirty three to thirty two. Oh, so close to a perfect row. Oh, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is. Relaxing and thinking in just like a really nice way. Um, it's hard to convey to you all. It's going to be even harder in the next game when we're literally going to try and be quiet. I might literally die. Um, so 13 by the 12. Good face. That's a that's a good thinky face. Love a good thinky face. <laughs> face. I really want to show my hand to chat. Not show your hand to chat. <laughs> I want to make sure I can get it close enough to the camera. Hold on. I'll make you. I'll make you big. I'll make you big. Hold on. say anything about it because I don't want can I like again uh, hold on one sec I want that to be clear 
Okay. Yes. Go ahead. So I have a problem. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Well, I mean, let's. I'm going to talk openly. I didn't say it. I've not drawn a finish card yet, <laughs> so I'm like. So you understand part I, of my. Problem. Okay. So, so I'm, I'm thinking to myself, are you in a sticky position that way? Um, that's part of the problem. Okay. But the, um... Man, at five, this would be such a collaborative, like, <laughs> get inside each other's head kind of moment. I think you'd be, like, putting one down and everyone, like... Not too wonky. Let's bring this up for a minute. I'm very worried that I could play this card and just cause us to lose. Nah. Depending on where I put it. It's fine. It's an interesting decision. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm with you. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 12, 13. And this is where I was actually mistaking the rules for a second. Because 12, 13, 14, 14 or 22. Two. Yeah, or even, or even it could have been 15, 16, or it could have been 21, 22, 23, yeah. or 22, sorry. Um, this is fine. Even though this is like a nine gap, mm -hmm. because we've got a one gap here, it's okay. So I just got one. Yeah, so this, I was very worried about that situation, but it's actually come okay. <gasps> Sorry, chat. I've got a new favorite card art. Oh boy. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, come on, laptop. You can do it. Yeah. All right, Brie. <gasps> you dream. <laughs> Chat, no, I wanted to play this. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. okay. Yeah, don't put them in my hand. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no, it's cool. This is the game, and next round is going to be for for all the donuts. Um. I mean, we're so close, right? It's only four cars left, right? So. Uh, yeah, right. So I'm going to go a 10 between the 6 and the 12. So it's 2 there. Oh, I went through a lot of cards there. Right? And if you ever, let's bring this back up for a second. If you ever get in the position that someone cannot play, um, that is when you're going to lose. But you don't have to play a card in your turn. You can also discard two and draw two. But if you ever end up in the position that you only have, I believe it's zero or one cards left, then it's game over. Yeah. Just pre-ordered it. Oh, Dana. Oh, you legend. Thank you. So pretty. It makes me think of Tang Garden. Yeah, that card specifically, Susie. Oh, 100%. So I'm discarding two. You're discarding two? And drawing two? And drawing two. And that is your action. That is my action. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. Mm -hmm. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Uh, I'm going to play a 51 beside the 53. Uh, so I've got to discard two. Running out of deck. Yeah, what you got? Are you just guarding two again? Oh, <gasps> what is happening? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, sugar. Okay, I need to check the rules. So, what is it? If we no, it's in, it's. I still have four cards in yeah. my hand. Because it will end. It, it will end either because you can't play a card because it doesn't fit numerically, or because you don't have enough cards to discard in order to play it, or because you have either zero or one cards left in your hand at the start of your turn. At the start of your turn. Four cards. And you didn't play there. How can I make this better for you then? I can't really. Uh, so, oh. You can play cards. You, you can yeah, okay. So here's a 50 beside the 51. So I this. I, my deck is also empty now. 
Okay, we can't draw two. Okay, hold on. Uh, <gasps> uh, <gasps> hold on. Yeah, can you I got 41. You can play. I got one, two, three cards. So I've literally one card left in my hand and my deck is empty. And you play the finish? Are you kidding me? <laughs> so I finish with one card. You finish with one card. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, wow. And that was with our talking. When we did the eight card discard, yeah. I had two finish cards in my seven card hand. And I had already discarded two. Oh man! That's why I. You said really couldn't. I have to keep at least one of these two. All five finish cards were in your deck. Damn, that's a rough draw. And I have been sitting on this card ever since because I knew I couldn't oh. discard. Oh, 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 oh. Wow! Amazing. But then my last like eight cards, I just couldn't play. <sighs> and I was that was the only card I could play. Wow. So I was so unsure about where to put this, and, but it was the only playable yeah. card in my hand. My only other choice was to pass. Yeah. And do you know what? It ended up being the right place. Um, it was tough, though. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice finish, says Didier. Thank you, Didier. And thank you so much, thank Susie, is celebrating with us. Right. Shall we shuffle up and do one more in silence? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's get them yeah. together. So while well, I'm going to let you shuffle up with that, if you don't mind. Absolutely. So I'm going to give everyone at home a little, uh, while Bree's preparing the game. How good is this? Bree's going to sort the game. So also, oh yeah, here we go. Let's get them. There we go. So this also comes with a little reference card, which is great and handy for teaching you the rules and for keeping you right. It also comes with uh, a design showing you how the solo play works and how to set up the cards, which is, which is great. And then inside, you've also got, as I mentioned, um, the Dark and Stormy expansion, which is so pretty. Uh, I want to show this for a second. It has some of the most beautiful artwork. Um, so these are, add extra complexity to the game where you have um, C, these Stormy C cards that are going to get in your way. I'm going to read about it in just a second because we actually haven't played it yet. Um, and I'm going to go through. You've also got ah, really tentacle monsters uh, as well who are going to add a bit of extra complexity and difficulty. So while Bree's setting up, I'm going to... Uh, read to you a little bit about this because I'm actually going to learn myself at the same time. So, whoop, no, oh, that's the, it's more about the variants actually. So we have the pyramid and the high arch variant, the competitive 1v1 variant and the day and night variant is also in there. Um, so this tells you all about, the pyramid looks crazy, man. Like it looks whew, really tricky. Um, so with the Stormy Seas expansion, which is included, there's basically three mini expansions. So you've got, first of all, the Jagged Rocks, then you've got the Sea Monsters, and then you've got the Storm and the Compass, uh, as well as the Kickstarter exclusive wild cards, which I didn't even know were in there. So now we're all informed. Uh, all the expansions named after cocktails. Steve, I have struggled so much not to say Dark and Stormy. <laughs> I'm real tell you right now, we talked about it earlier, and I called it Dark and Stormy like three times. Um, so with Jagged Rocks, the game begins with Jagged Rocks cards placed randomly on one of the six border cards on the left-hand side of the grid, and this rule is considered as temporarily impenetrable, so no cards can be played onto it. So I'm, I'm going to just skip the rest of it, but it tells you a whole bunch more about how that's going to affect you whenever you're drawing up the cards. That's rough. On Sea Monsters, you can set multiple difficulties, and actually there's like warning signs that tell you these are hard. And depending on the level of difficulty you wish to play, you can shuffle three, four, or five sea monsters into the island and finish cards before you deal them out. And if you draw a sea monster, you keep it in your hand as one of your five cards. If you play it onto the grid, you play it on top of a previously played card. It destroys that card, and it's removed from the game. It counts as taking an action, and you may never discard a monster from your hand, which means you have to destroy something. You can't just get rid of it. And there's more about how you end the game, including that you cannot end the game if you've got a monster card in your hand, meaning you have to destroy something. You have to play it before you can actually finish the game. Oh, oh brutal. And then the Storm and Compass is considered a three difficulty which adds in six storm cards. You shuffle them in and also six compass cards placed to the side. And there are yellow, purple, and orange storms. And these basically, I mean, the orange storm alone says, you place the orange storm card face up in front of you. And for all future turns, you may now only play next to an existing card 
or discard two cards. So it's going to throw these extra rules and extra conditions in as you're playing. Yeah, we'll do another one normal, but then I think we're probably going to have to play some of that at some point. I'm excited for that. Let me put these away. So you've got everything. Oh, man, I'm excited to play more. Okay. Mm -mm. So look, we're going to try and be silent. Uh, see you later, DDA. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Have a good day. Um, okay. I mean, silence, right? I'll try and be quiet, but okay, I can talk to chat, right? Mm -hmm. Of course. Talk to you, Dad. I will be silent, and I will try not to listen to you. Good, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Many people have tried before you. <laughs> Many have failed. Oh, man. Try not to listen to me. You're funny. What? It's not as easy. Oh. <laughs> Touche. I was about to say it's not as easy when you can't just mute me uh, on Skype, but uh, that was, that was, that was, that was solid. That was solid. Um, all right. So we have two relatively equal stacks with five finished cards shuffled between them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Chad, I'm going to try to be quiet now. Maybe this is the ASMR section of the stream, right? Just like... So, Chad, we're going to we're gonna set sail out to the stormy seas. <laughs> How do people talk like this all the time? <laughs> all as, all the time, says Susie. That's... Oof. Not even I can handle all as all the time. It's a lot of as. <laughs> Too much as, baby. Okay, so we draw our starting five. Mm -hmm. And then before we put the start card in, I'm gonna shuffle it some more just for just while you do that. Okay, let's bring this back up again. Boom. Let's make us little. There we go. We need to start like a new TikTok challenge. TikTok challenge, don't talk for 20 minutes. The silent TikTok challenge. I know some teachers in schools who would love that challenge. Don't think we're that lucky. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to shuffle my start card in. All right. And the only point we're allowed to talk talk is when someone plays a start card, right? Otherwise, TikTok. Otherwise, TikTok. That's a six. That's a six in the second spot. That's a seventy five in the penultimate spot. It's a sixteen. just relax let the, the stresses of today just flow off you I want to read yeah right 
Got a wrinkle aerobic. <laughs> Sniff the cards. Oh, wow. Take your turn. <laughs> That's a 71. ASMR. Asthma. <laughs> okay. I might be making a TikTok account tomorrow. <laughs> New Twitch account tomorrow. Subscribe. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Follow below. Use our affiliate links to buy. Uh, we don't have affiliate links. I should say. <laughs> so, there is a link in the description of the YouTube video. Um, where you, and also the Facebook where you can order a copy of Tranquility, which is out next week. If you also would like to have this amazing experience. <laughs> My face is sore from smiling, which is about as good as it gets. That's how I want to do reviews for board games. We can talk about other stuff, right? I want to do a review for board game, and my five out of five stars is my face is sore from smiling. All right, and I just need to work out what my other star ratings are. My brain hurts. That's a two star. Yeah. Oh yeah, three stars is definitely my brain hurts, but in a good way. So my brain hurts and my face hurts. Oof, that's a four star. <laughs> Okay, so we're now so it's brain to face pain. Brain to face pain rating <laughs> system. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't tell me. I had to turn the volume back down when he started talking. Oh, shit. I just read. Oh, pardon my mouth. Let's put this back down here where you are. Pardon my mouth. Yeah. I always feel bad when people say, pardon my French. I'm like, what did the French ever do? That's Let's not open that can of worms, but hope Natalie's watching. Maybe watch this back later. What did the French ever do to you? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> they farm snails. True story. I really like this as a two-player experience. I think five players scares me. Four will be great. Ooh. We're just uh, exploring some happy little islands. And you know, there's uh, no accidents, just uh, no such thing as mistakes. We're just a uh, happy little sea, happy little boat. Just gonna sail as we want to, you know. Bob 
Frost. What a guy. I'm just gonna if Bree doesn't make a good turn, it's gonna beat the devil out of her. And beat the <laughs> she better. You know, just beat the devil out of her. And get yeah. Not again. <laughs> oh you really did whack those paintbrushes on that easel. Sorry, I kind of <laughs> zoned out for a second there. Final answer. Seal if you want to, just don't leave your friends behind. Because mm -hmm. if your friends can't seal, you shouldn't seal because you won't have any more to cover your behind. <laughs> Sorry, Susie. I think I I, I I did not perform very well with your last line there. I think I lost the piece of the song. <laughs> um. I think I might just do a tranquility stream like once a month now just to like relax. Just... <laughs> Sorry, I believe in you, Susie. You can it was just a it was just a first draft. You can you can you can do better. I believe in you. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll reach. Okay. So we have a start card. So we need to draw two cards each. And then we need to discard eight between us. Mm -hmm. Definitely got three. Straight up. No problem. One definite, one maybe. Oh, what? One no. Three that I'm still deciding on. Okay, well then I can go to four. Yeah, four. I can get to four. It's yeah. Just, like, I don't want to. <laughs> oh, four. I, mean, I, I sh should be okay, but. I mean, if you really want to, I can go to five, but well, it's scary. I don't. I don't actually. No, I think I have to do four. I don't think I go to five. No, I think I'm okay. Okay. I do. Yeah. So it's not actually that. I kind of want to say something in the chat, but I kind of don't want to no, strategize. Yeah. But there's there's yeah. certainly some things to be concerned about on this board right now. Mm -hmm. 
Let me just make sure I remember what I'm discarding. Okay. So much for not. We're allowed to talk at this point. Yes. Yeah. This is allowed. So because we've got a start card, we're allowed to talk about uh, how many cards we are going to discard because we need to get rid of eight cards between us. So we can talk about how many, but nothing else really. So I'm four is what I'm stating. I can do four. Okay. So four, four. And now we're back to drawing up to five and then back to normal play. Put that down there, please. So forty nine to forty eight. For anyone that didn't catch that, that was Brie like, ooh, letting out, letting out a thank goodness noise. there are lots of little tiny decisions happening mm -hmm. where you're trying to prioritize which cards you really want to get in first to avoid your partner playing cards that are either going to block you or result in them discarding far more than you want to and there's definitely a timing to it and sometimes the worst thing because you only have five cards in your hand so when you have many cards you want to play <laughs> when you have like four cards you want to play but in order to play any of them, you have to discard, discard something. Which then makes you want to discard things like the finished cards, but there are only five of them. And you need one, and you need it at the end of the game. And if you don't have it, you lose. So there's a certain amount of risk and reward to that. And the more of them you see. <laughs> I feel like I've been playing hole filler here, doing my best to like <laughs> fill all the holes. <laughs> In 
in the same situation as you get more me. I have to be the whole creator. You make the holes, I'll fill the holes. <laughs> We're not talking any more strategy than that. What a wonderful design. James Emerson, like, just cracking. So simple, but so good. Look at us think, isn't it neat? Filling up holes to the game is complete. Isn't the stream just the best? It sure has everything. Am I missing? <laughs> I was too busy trying to make it into a rhyme. Because neat and complete, best and everything. I Brie was who you wanted for that one. I totally feel it. I'm sorry. Where did you play there? 38 next to 36. Discarding tea. Yeah. So now there are only 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 to fill that spot. I was also holding a finished card because I was so nervous. <laughs> I actually discarded one when we discarded eight. I had one finished oh. card, two left in my deck, uh, 26, which would also have worked. 
and 41. Oh, I was worried. I was, I had no, no playable cards. <gasps> was had, this 77 literally the only one that I was so no, considering I discarding had, it? I had a card that I could, oh, okay. Play and played it, All right. But I discarded a card that would have fit here. Yep. When we discarded eight, and that's yeah. why I breathed a sigh of relief when you. Oh this. man, that was so good. Oh, we hope. Uh, I also, the only playable card in my hand when you played this yeah. was was the five. Oh, I'm so, sorry. No, no. Uh, but when you played it, I was like, okay. okay. Well, then I'm yeah. discarding two yeah. because I couldn't play anything. So I was like, okay. Well, whenever it's we, on you. whenever you played the start card, it was good because I had both a start and a finish card in my hand, so that was two immediately. I was like, right, boom, I can get rid of both them confidently. Um. Yeah. I had a finish card, and I had already discarded a finish card. Oh! So I, that's why I didn't want to discard it. Yeah. But I ended up discarding it and the one that went in the middle. Here. Wow. I love it. And I had three cards that were, it was like 54, 56, yeah. 57. Just look at this. Just didn't want to break it up. But. Real on stream, like proper fanboy moment. I'm just going to get in here and like, oh, oh it's so like it's just. Just what a, what a piece of art. It's so pretty. So uh, yeah, folks, that was Tranquility. Um, it's out next week. Um, you're gonna find it if I get my mouse working again. Get rid of this. Oh, my brain. Uh, you're gonna find it from Lucky Duck um, all around the world. Unfortunately, we won't be doing it in the UK, I'm afraid. But there are there are still tranquilities available in the UK, I do believe. But stateside and around the rest of the world, you will find it. We're doing it in English, and I believe we're doing it in French as well. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. But I know in English we're going to be able to get it next week. This has been a blast. Thank you so much. Thank you from dialing all the way in from Las Vegas, <laughs> as you did with all the other times. Been the connection's been great. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. For... It's great to have you. <laughs> Thank you for using your uh, your teleporter. Ah, uh, portal gun, portal gun. Yes. So anyway, thank you so much, everybody. For yeah, that was. I kind of want to play again. That's a good song. But we need, to, but I we did. need to eat some dinner because yes. we haven't eaten some dinner yet. If uh, I'm trying to remember who used to shout at us for not eating dinner, dinner in the Kingdom Rush stream. Oh, I forget his name now. We used to have a couple of people used to shout at us not eating dinner. But we're going to sign off. We're going to say thank you so much for stopping by. Please do check out Tranquility if you haven't. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous little game. Really worth giving a play to. And uh, until next time, until the next stream, we're going to sign off and say, have a lovely day. And we're going to say goodbye with the beautiful Tranquility trailer. So, goodbye. Bye. Jump on board the good ship Tranquility and set sail for paradise. Take care, though. In a land where the day blends into night, it's easy to lose track of time. And you still need to find that special little island to call home. Tranquility is a cooperative card game for 1 to 5 players and is recommended for ages 8 to 100. The players must fill the sea with islands and guide the ship home before any player runs out of actions. In the world of Tranquility though, the only way to play is in silence. But travellers be warned, the sea can be treacherous. You may be attacked by sea monsters become shipwrecked on jagged rocks, or need to navigate through terrible storms with nothing more than a compass and your will to survive. If you win, all the players will live out their days in an island paradise. Run out of actions before the game is complete though, and your ship will be lost forever.